from the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd. Remember, it was King David who wrote this, and he rejoiced, it seems, to say this. He made it into a song. The Lord is my shepherd. Now, doing that, he implied, I am a sheep. I have to think of all of God's animals, the sheep. I don't know if I want to be a sheep. I mean, sheep are dumb. You ever met a sheep trainer? You ever seen sheep tricks? Do you know anyone who has taught a sheep to, to roll over? Have you ever witnessed a circus sideshow featuring sheep? Mazadon and his jumping sheep. <laughs> sheep don't do much. They're dumb. And they're defenseless. No fangs, no claws. They can't bite you. Can't outrun you. I think I can outrun a sheep. That's why you never see a sheep as team mascots. Have you? You've seen the rams. You've seen the bulls. You've seen the eagles. The Seahawks. How about the New York lambs? <laughs> Who wants to be a lamb? You couldn't even stir up a de decent... What would the cheerleaders for the lambs say? We are the sheep. We don't make a peep. Victory is yours to keep, but you can count on us to put you to sleep. <laughs> the sheep, they're, they're defenseless. And they're dumb. One more. Do you know sheep are dirty? They're dirty. Cat can't. A cat can clean himself. So can a dog. I've seen a bird in a bird bath. I've seen pictures of a bear in a river. But sheep... They get dirty and they stay that way. Come on, David. Is there not a better metaphor? I mean, surely you could have thought of something else. Why, why not? Uh, you outgun Goliath and... How about this? How about this? The Lord is my commander in chief and I'm his warrior. There, I like that better. A warrior. I'm his warrior. A warrior gets a uniform. A warrior gets a weapon. A warrior gets a medal. I like that one. How about that, David? Or how about this? The Lord is my inspiration, and I am his singer. After all, we're in God's choir. What a flattering assignment. Or the Lord is my king. I like that one. And I am his ambassador. Wouldn't you like to be a spokesperson for God. Everyone stops when the ambassador speaks. Everyone listens when God's minstrel sings. Everyone applauds when God's warrior passes. But who notices when God's sheep show up? Who notices when the sheep sings, when the sheep speaks, when the sheep acts? Who notices? Can I tell you who? The shepherd. And that's precisely David's point. When David, who himself was a warrior, minstrel, ambassador for God, when he searched for an illustration of God, he remembered his days as a shepherd. He, he remembered how he as a shepherd boy lavished attention on the sheep day and night, how he kept the evil predators away, how he slept with them and watched over them. I remember some years ago I was speaking in England. I had an opportunity with my daughter to ride up in the Black Mountains of Wales on a horseback ride. Oh, how beautiful, beautiful rolling hills. We came upon a sheep, a sheep that was in trouble. The sheep had fallen on her back in a ravine and couldn't get up. Our guide, who happened to be a shepherd, dismounted and went over and pulled the sheep upright, explaining, oh, if I don't help the animal, the animal will die. Friend, if our shepherd doesn't help us, we die. I'm sorry, we're dumb, defenseless, and dirty. Other sheep can't help us. We need someone. We need a shepherd from another race, another dimension. We need a shepherd like the one we have. The Lord is our shepherd. And the way David cared for the sheep reminded David of the way God takes care of us. The Lord is my shepherd, he said, and in doing so, said, and I'm one of his sheep. And now that I think about it, that's a pretty good thing to say.